Welcome back to the beginner coil building series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a series fuse clapton. I'm Sherlock Holmes and on this channel I do build tutorials, reviews, live shows, all kinds of cool stuff. And as I said, we're going to be building a fuse clapton, but it's going to be a fuse clapton for a series box. This is a Noisy Cricket V1 and this actually was sent to me by a guy here on YouTube called All About the Vapor. Big shout out to you and if you haven't yet, check out his channel, he does a lot of cool reviews. When building for a series box, you need your resistance to be pretty high like 0.30 or higher. The resistance of the fuse clapton we're building today is going to be 0.30. So we're gonna be well within that safe range. Without further ado, let's jump right into this with what we're gonna to need to build this coil. I'm going to be working with all Cantal because the resistance is a little bit higher. So I have 26 gauge Cantal for the cores and I'm gonna be using a 46 for the outer wrap. Now you can use whatever it is that you have if you have uh, 36, 38, 40, um, even 34. The lower your outer wrap is, it might change your resistance. So definitely do the math on whatever wire you have before you get into this build. The reason I use as high a gauge as possible is because when you're working with such an explosive high temperature, high intensity vape, it, it can mute the flavor a little bit. I really want the flavor to shine. So I'm using a really high gauge to really intensify and enhance the flavor. We're also going to need our pliers, flush cuts, our swivels, our drill, corded or cordless, doesn't matter. We need an ohm reader, a three millimeter bit or coil jig, something uh, along that line, a good pair of scissors. We're gonna need some ceramic tweezers, whatever tools that your atomizer requires. Of course, we're gonna need some cotton and some delicious juice. Once we have everything together, we're ready to start building. First thing we're going to need to do is prep our core wires. And because we need eight wraps on a three millimeter to hit our 0.3 resistance mark. We want our final finished rod to be around 10 inches just to be safe to give us the room that we need. I'm going to pull a 20 inch piece off of the spool, clip it, secure that back so the spool doesn't get away from you. I'm going to make a 90 degree bend on one end of the 26 gauge. I'm gonna insert that in the center of the chuck. We want everything to spin perfectly without wobbling. So in the center of the chuck, tighten that down. Going to grab the other end with the pair of pliers and spin until straight. Alternatively, you can grab each end of the 26 gauge with two pairs of pliers and just pull until you feel it straighten. Like you'll feel it just bend a little bit and then it'll be straight. So you don't have to do the drill method with the 26, but you can. Now that our core is straight, we're going to feed one end through the swivel, touch the two ends together. We're gonna to leave just a little bit to be able to make another 90 degree angle bend in the side that doesn't have one. Then we're just gonna run our fingers down to the swivel and pinch, pinch it with the pliers if you'd like to kind of flatten everything together. From the swivel end, I'm going to pinch and pull all the way down to the chuck end of the cores. Again, insert them in the center now that our cores are mounted, we're ready to go. We're ready to wrap the coil. I'm gonna grab my 46 gauge or whatever gauge that you're using, get it mounted and started in the chuck. General rule of thumb here, lead your wrap wire to the cores at about a 90 degree angle. You might be able to sit back just a hair just to keep everything wrapped and tight. But the general rule of thumb is about 90 degrees. You can play around with it and find your groove. Once you find your groove, let it rip.
the series fuse clapton definitely one of my favorite series builds the higher gauge wire you can wrap this with the better because it's just going to produce more and more flavor if you're not comfortable with a 0.3 you know do 12 13 inch cores and add wraps and that will raise your resistance uh, 0.4 whatever you want to do just keep adding wraps and you'll get there do like eight wraps on a 3.5 millimeter diameter and that will raise your resistance if you have the room you, you have to kind of work within the the constraints of the device you're using like what atomizer how much space do your homework before you attempt this build make sure whatever your end resistance is going to be is a safe place for you to vape i have ultra exotic coils build tools all kinds of cool stuff available on my website at sherlockholmes.com definitely worth a look if you're into exotic coils i do giveaways and cool stuff like that on my patreon it's a great way to help keep the lights on and earn yourself some cool rewards in the process. A huge thank you to Hometown Hero Vapor for sponsoring this build video. They are an amazing company, guys. It's veteran owned and operated, and they donate to veteran and artist charities. And they gave me a 15% off coupon to share with you guys. It's Mr. Holmes, M-R-H-O-H-M-S, 15% off your entire order. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, Definitely subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I go live, post new tutorials, or new reviews. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Sherlock Holmes, and I'll see you in the next video.